Hey bro, how you doing? Doing good? Beautiful. <laughs> I'm young. I'm a young lad. And I have had a very interesting, unpredictable, inconsistent life style ever since I've been young. Maybe one day I'll tell you guys on what my lifestyle has been like. But for now, I'm going to tell you five life lessons I wish someone had told me when I was struggling as a young teenager right now. Five life, le five life lessons for teenagers that will literally change your life forever, for the rest of your life, in a good, positive way. The first one is walk with purpose. Walk with pride. When you see the man, the man walk down the street, you look at him and you know he is on a mission. You look at him and you think, oh god damn, oh god damn. That man's rather attractive and he, I know, he's walking somewhere to do something. You look at him and you are just awe in awe of how he carries himself. His shoulders are arched back, he dresses well, he takes pride in how he looks. And he's not like probably you, and it was me as well. He's probably not like you, the boy, who is walking hunchback shoulders like a gremlin. <laughs> who has got dirty clothes, doesn't look up at people, doesn't smile at people, he looks at the ground and for some reason he can't look anywhere else. He's not like that. Take pride in your step and walk with purpose. It makes you feel good as well. And also, it makes you look attractive. And, well, who doesn't want to be attractive? Second life lesson. Become a gentleman. Bro, it is so toxic masculine now to tell someone this. It's, it's toxic masculinity to be a gentleman. Man, even worse, you'll get called a simp for it. <laughs> That's so messed up. Because this, is, this ideology, this sort of perception that we have, has led to a large chunk of men in the population having absolutely disgusting behaviour, having no honourable actions. This has led to this kind of person, and this isn't a, this isn't a nice guy. He, he, this isn't a nice guy. Being a gentleman is a nice guy. Being a gentleman is someone who takes pride in his actions. Oh, you've been told that, oh, holding the door open? Toxic masculinity. Too simp. Paying the bill? Uh-uh. That isn't normal. However, for me, I was brought up with quite a strict mum. I love her, as was the same with my dad, but I was brought up strictly, and I was brought up that you should be the gentleman. You pay for the bill. Hands down. If you can't pay for the bill, get up, work your ass off, so you, you shouldn't be there. So you need to work your ass off so you can pay the bill. If you are on a date, and you can't pay the bill, you shouldn't be on that date. You should be focusing on improving. You shouldn't have that stress or worry in your mind. Focus on yourself for now. And trust me, when you're focusing on yourself, becoming a gentleman, being proud in yourself, on your self-improvement self journey, trust me, the women will come in. Because that is attractive. Stop for going out chasing, chasing the women. There's a saying that I like, Stop going out and chasing the butterflies because they will fly away. However, you improve your garden and make your garden the best garden, the butterflies will come in. It's as easy as that. Focus on yourself. Become a gentleman. Third one is build up your skills, especially high value skills. High value skills. This is something like content creation, what I'm doing right now. Copywriting, salesmen, affiliate marketing, all of these are super helpful for you. Learn them now while you're young. Because trust me, these skills will become, will stick with you and benefit you for the rest of your life. People tell you that, oh no, 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 no. You should go out and enjoy 
your twenties, your young years, and party every single night and waste it away. This person who is telling you has the mindset of the boy. That is his mindset. He may not be an actual boy, he may be a 40-year-old man who reminisces on his 20s because his life sucks. That is the mindset of the boy telling you, no, don't go out and improve yourself, go party, waste your life. Ah, uh -uh. no, 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 you're young. Develop the skills now because they will stick with you for the rest of your life. These are good habits to get into. Build yourself mentally whilst you're young. The fourth one is be confident, yet aware of your age. It's good to be confident because being confident will lead to you living happier. You go out and you take pride in your step. You will talk to more women confidently because you view them as differently. You don't view them as the person who used to sit behind the screen and watch porn all day. You go out and you turn around, I have taken pride in improving myself, so I deserve this attention. You go out there and you treat them with respect. You view women differently when you are confident, in a good way. But, however, you are confident, don't become arrogant. Because you are young, I am young. I still have a long ass way to go. I got a long way to go. So do you. We have youth on our side. We are so lucky to start this journey now whilst we're young because we are we are young. We have so much to learn. Be aware of your age. The mindset of humility. The person who looks at himself and yes is confident but sees a long journey and a long road ahead to improvement. That mindset will lead to absolute rapid growth. Trust me, it will grow. You will grow as a human being. And the fifth one, fifth and last, is dress well. I'm about to head out now. I, I'm about to head out. I've taken pride in looking in how I look. I've had a shower, washed my face. I'm not gonna go out looking like a tramp. I'm gonna go out with clean clothes. Take pride in how you look. Wear high quality stuff. And I don't mean go out and buy Supreme, buy Nike, buy all the really really outlandishly expensive branded stuff. No, 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 no. Buy stuff and get it tailored, made for you. So that way you'll actually look good, look good when you wear all this stuff. And it will fit you well. It will be nice. Fine clothes that are good quality, either tailored to you, or they fit you well. Take pride in how you look. One, you take pride in how you look. When you go out, you will automatically, like that, just feel more confident. You'll look at yourself and yeah, I took the time to dress well. I know that these clothes have wet fit me well because I've got them tailored for me or I've test I spent in the time looking and figuring out what works for me. And now you go out and you look and you are no, you are just confident. It's like Abraham Lincoln once said, if I had eight hours to, sharp to cut down a tree, I'd spend six hours sharpening my axe. Spend the time figuring out what clothes work best for you. Find out what your style is, find out what you like, and then buy the best quality clothes in that, in that sort of section. Take the time to look nice, because trust me, it will help you in the long run. You will become one step closer to the man walking down the street, rather than the boy. Stop being the worst you possible. Alright, if you like this video and content like this, another video will top, pop up in the top right corner over here. Love you all, so who are those who stayed till the end? And bro, do the best you can. I wish you good luck on your journey to self-improvement. Love you all.